got free coffee. <laughs> McDonald's, Big Mac free. Dairy Queen, a Sunday free. Now the message is unchanging. Go into all the world and share your love for Jesus. Far away and all the world. all of God. You see, just like some. Dumpy donut. They gave me two, two dozen of donuts. Jesus loves you so. You must tell someone. Who will tell someone until the whole world knows? For each one. That's the barber shop. Give it an altar call. And each one. As we follow after Christ. tonight. Psalms 37 verse 4. Glory to God. I love this passage of scripture. Glory to God. Psalms 37 verse 4. Glory to God. I'm going to come expecting God to do something tonight. Glory to God. I'm believing God tonight. Glory to God. I read something before I get in my text. This is what I read that was pretty humorous. It gave me a laugh this afternoon. This is what it said. It said a man and his wife was having some problems at home, and they literally stopped talking to each other. They were giving each other the silent treatment. <laughs> the next week, the man realized that he would need his wife to wake him up at 5 a.m. for an early flight out of town. Not wanting to be the first to break the silence, he finally wrote on a piece of paper, please wake me up at 5 a.m. The next morning, the man woke up, only to discover it was 9 a.m. He had missed his flight. He was furious. His wife hadn't awakened him. Then he noticed on a piece of paper beside the bed, and it said, it's 5 a.m., wake up. <laughs> Glory to God. So don't be that silent treatment, amen? Glory to God. Let's get in the Word of God here tonight. God's little message on my heart. Psalms 37, verse 4. The word of God reads tonight, Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word tonight. Now this is your word, and your word even declares that heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall stand. Father, I pray tonight in Jesus' name for a double portion of the anointing of God to be upon me tonight. And God, I would pray tonight that you would revive us one more time. God, your word says in Psalms 85 verse 6, Will thou not revive us again that thou people may rejoice in thee? Father, we thank you for your word in 2 Chronicles 7 14. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, 
Seek my face, turn from the wicked ways. You promised that you'll forgive our sins and you would heal our land. Father, I pray today in the name of Jesus Christ for a great outpouring of the Spirit of God here tonight. I pray that you would heal tonight. I pray that you would save tonight. I pray that you would baptize in the Holy Spirit with power tonight. Father, do it for your glory tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, we'll give you the praise and glory and the honor this night in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Amen. Come on now. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Amen. No matter what you're going through, what you're going through. Remember, this. remember this. Delight yourself, Delight yourself. In, the Lord. in the Lord. Now look at your other neighbor and say, neighbor. Amen. Did you hear what that preacher said? <laughs> no matter what you're going through, <laughs> delight yourself, delight yourself. In, the Lord. in the Lord. Now turn around and look at the person behind you. Oh, and say, neighbor, did you really hear what that preacher said? No matter what you're going through, enlighten yourself in the Lord. How many of God will see you through when you enlighten yourself in the Lord? How many of God will pray you through every time when you enlighten yourself in the Lord? Amen. When I think about the word of God, delight yourself in the Lord, I think about the light. Go into God. What is the light? The light means happiness. Go into God to the light uh, in something that's a great pleasure to be happy about, to be merry over. Go into God. And how many are trying to find happiness in all the wrong places? How many know the world is trying to find happiness in the world? They're trying to find peace in the world. But you'll never find peace away from God. You'll never find victory away from the Lord Jesus Christ. And when I think about Psalms 37, going to God is the highlight and peace and rest is available for everyone who places their trust compared to those who choose to go against righteousness. They choose the way that leads to destruction, but God wants us to uh, uh, trust Him and go forth on the option of the Spirit of God. What is the meaning? Going to God that King David wrote when he wrote these words. Glory to God. He knew the true meaning of a personal experience. First of all, David understood what it was to go through tests and time. And God gave David a victory over Goliath. God gave David strength to make it through the hard times when Saul was trying to kill him. God provided wisdom and power for David to win over the Philistines. God provided David with great insight to govern the people and interact with them and neighboring countries. God provided David with counselors, friends, support, and people. How many know that God will show up just in time, every time? Go to God. How many know if you're going through something and you really say, God, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to stand on your word. I know you're going to bring it through. And I know the Bible says in Romans 8.28, all things went together for the good to them that love God and to call according to his purpose. And the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood that the spirit of the living God will raise up a standard. And the Bible says in Romans 8.31 What shall we say to these things? If God be for us who can be against us? How many know that God is on our side and God will bring us through every time? If you believe it, give God some praise And David wrote these words, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Go into God. I'm going to know that men sometimes they delight themselves in sports. Come on, church. Go into God. There are men pulling from Miami. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Many are pulling for sand and tone. Glory to God. Some got red skin skins. Come on, church. Glory to God. Some get excited about sports. Amen. We get excited about baseball, football. We get excited. We delight ourselves in hunting, fishing, going to God and camping, going to God. Amen. Most women, they delight themselves in shopping. <laughs> Good God Almighty, I better get back to my text. Come on, church. Glory to God. 
But sometimes going to God, you can like yourself in video games, going to God, but there's so many things that people delight like themselves in. And tonight, I want to talk to you tonight, going to God in order to delight yourself in the Lord and God to give you your desire. How many know, first of all, we must choose? How many know you have a choice tonight? The Bible says in Joshua 24, 15, the Bible says choose this day whom you're going to serve. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Glory to God, church, we must fix our eyes on Jesus. We must choose to serve him. And the Bible says in Hebrews 12, 2, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. The Bible teaches us in Psalms 37, verse 5, it says, Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also him, and he will bring it to pass. How many believe that you got to trust God tonight? How many believe he's Jehovah Jireh tonight? How many know he's God all by himself tonight? Glory to God. And every time that devil say you can't, I put my hand on my hip and I say I can do all things through Christ's word strength me. Every time he say you'll never be able to travel, you'll never be able to reach people all over the world. But I say the Bible says in Philippians 4.19, but my God shall supply all my need according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. And I say the Bible says, David says, Said I was young and now I'm old. I've never seen a right there forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. The devil didn't offer me nothing but pain, but on this side, Jesus Christ is victorious. Come on, Set 
looking for this. Come on, church, I'm going to believe there's nothing too hard for God. Come on, it might not be drugs and alcohol. I'm going to believe God is able. I'm going to believe God can take away. Come on, church, every desire that's not of God, God can move it. When you say, I'm going to commit my way to the Lord, I'm going to trust God, I'm going to believe God. Come on, church, if God can deliver me from 18 years of heroin, cocaine, methadone, while I was rose, Thunderbird, Jack Daniels, MD 2020, but was a co 45, never made it up to Nicolau because it costs too much money. Come on, church. Glory to God. Glory to 
God, when I was so fired up there, and it reminds me what Paul said to the Corinthian church. The Bible says what Paul said to the Corinthian church in 1 Corinthians, go into God, chapter 2. It says this, go into God, I determined not to know anything among your saved Jesus Christ and them crucified. In my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but it was in the demonstration and with power. I got good news for your church. When you choose to serve God, you will want to be a light 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You will want to be a light. Come on church, I mean, you know we are the light of the world and the salt of this earth and every opportunity in church we should stand on the word of God and live the word of God, talk the word of God and stand on the word of God because God can take that sinner and change and turn that thing around for the glory of God. It's just a matter of time. Come on church. Somebody gonna get a miracle in this house. Come on church. Somebody gonna get a Hallelujah. Commit your way unto the Lord. The second thing, the second thing tonight, going to God, the first point was you choose. The second point tonight is you must be committed. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Ouch. Ouch. Come on, children. How many know you got to be committed? One, two, three. If you don't have your hand up, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Crap. That's your guess. <laughs> commit, amen. How many, how many know that, that when you commit yourself, God will do great things in your life? It's important that we can be committed and going to light ourselves in the Lord indicates that there's an effort and a commitment involved on your part. You must choose to do it. You must give it an effort. Go into God. You must turn your mind towards God. Go into God. You must exercise and discipline yourself, which was required for us to achieve. Go into God. The Bible says in Psalms 55, verse 17, Evening and morning and noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. God said, even and morning and noon, his prayers would go up to God. David said that. Go into God. How many believe that God still answers prayer? Yes. Come on, church. How many believe God can turn situations around for the glory of God? God still works miracles. He still does great things for the glory of God. And the Bible says in Matthew 12, 8, go into God for the Son of Man. Is, is Lord even in the seventh day. We must be committed. Come on church, committed to Sunday school. I was so happy this morning when I came to Sunday school going to God and I sat under the word of God. How many know that was good solid teaching? Come on church. How many agree? How many agree you are know if you sit under the word of God? One, two, three, come on church. Oh, dear God. I had one little girl when I got through preaching one night. She said, Preacher, can you count past three? Come on, church. Go to God. Go to God. But when you sit under the word of God, there's something about you will grow and you will mature the things of God. I love to see a church. Go to God. When Pastor Jesson took the church, I think he had five or six people when I came up to preach for him. Eight people, maybe nine. Go to God. I know it wasn't much more than ten. Come on, church. Go to God. But I came. Go to God. Believe in God. He continued to be faithful what God had called him to do. Come on, church. Sometimes I walk for two hours, an hour and a half, and I quote scripture, just scripture. So I was walking one morning and began to jog a little bit. Come on, just I'm going to jog. I'm on jog. I'm just quoting scripture. Go to God. Guy came up to me. He's running. He's running. His wife behind him running. 
I'm just quoting word. I said, the Bible says, glory to God in John 1, 12, but as many as received them, the them day he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, at the sound of the trumpet, the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet him in the air. The Bible says in Philippians 1, 6, being very confident in this one thing, he was begun to what he, he will perform unto the day of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, this other guy, he slowed down a little bit. Glory to God. I said, hey man, I want to talk to you. I said, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess he's Lord to the glory of the Father. Glory to God. His wife in the back doing like this. Get him. Get him. Come on. Get him. Get him. He didn't know what was going on. Come on, church. Go. I mean, all the wives are telling me. Come on, church. Glory to God. Glory to God. I said, I'm just quoting scripture. Glory to God. I said, the Bible says in Luke 19, 10, for the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Glory to God. He looked at me. He said, man, I've been running out here for 20 years. I ain't never seen a preacher preach like you. Glory to God. I said, well, it's just like fire shut up in my bones. I can't keep it to myself. Glory to God. The Bible says, glory to God. In Philippians 3, 10, Paul said that I might know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering be made conform unto his death. I said, brother, I'm just doing my work, what God's called me to do. I said, I'm a preacher. He said, I know that without a shadow of a doubt. Come on, church, go with your God. I said, the Bible says, go with your God. In 1 Corinthians 15, 51, behold, I show you a mystery. We should all sleep, but we should all be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. He looked at me, he said, well, man, go with your God. He said, man, I don't want to go to hell. He said, man, I heard hell was a bad place. I said, brother, two weeks I was witnessing to a guy, and I asked him, I said, man, where do you think hell going to be? He looked at me, he said, man, you know, if you had the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and you had all the Caribbean water, and you had all the water, in the world and you try to put that fire out, it wouldn't go out. I said, well, why in the world would you want to go there? Come on, church. Go with your God. I mean, no, right there came his heart to Christ. I turned around. I looked at his wife. Tears coming down her eyes. She over there cutting a step. Come on, church. Go with your God. Give him God praise and glory. I got good news for your church. Don't give up on your husband. Come on, church. You keep believing God. You keep standing on the word of God. Oh, I feel God in this house. Come on, church. You stay
Amen. Amen. How many believe there'll be a change? Change our routine and get back to the basics. How many believe we need to get back to the Word of God? Yeah. Amen. 82% of American Christians say they want to grow spiritually, but they lack the practice of different, uh, the, the, this, uh, disciplining ourselves in the things of God. Sometimes prayers need to get back to the basics. Amen. How many believe when you pray in your house, things happen? Yeah. Come on, church. How many know the enemy can't come in now when you pray together, you stand on the word together? God does great things for the glory of God. Glory to God when your spiritual life you will grow, you will build in the things of God. I came in tonight, and as I was sitting in the back tonight, listen to Pastor Justin give y'all filet mignon. How many know that was not hot dogs and pork and beef? Come on, church. How many know that was good teaching? Come on, church. Good teacher. Good word of God. Listen to the word of God. How many believe when you sit under that, you're going to change? Come on, church. I'm going to believe you can't stay under the word of God and not change your ways. Amen? Glory to God. Change. Glory to God. Ways to delight yourself in the Lord. Glory to God. The Bible says, glory to God doing his will. Say, I would delight to do your will. Oh, my God, and your law is within my heart. Glory to God. Meditate on scripture. Meditate on the things of God. Stand on the word of God. Having an honest heart. Believe in God to do great things. Believe in his word. I'm going to believe his word is still powerful. Yeah. Glory to God. I'm going to believe his word is still sharp, quick, powerful. And then it to that sword. Glory to God. When we catch the concept of standing on the word of God, our hearts cry. Become. I want a desire of more of God. I want more of God in my life. Come on, church. I just don't want a little bit of God. And the Bible says, those at home and thirst have a righteous, they shall be filled. I thank God tonight that I'm a changed man by the power of God. I'm going to believe God specializes in changing lives. He specializes in blessing you. Come on, church. He'll bless you going in. He'll bless you coming out. And when we treasure ourselves in the things of God, and we feast on His Word, and we stand on the Word of God, how many know the enemy does not want us to stand on the word of God? He does not want us to have victory. He does not want us to have peace and joy. And the Bible says in John 10, 10, that the thief coming to steal, kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that they might have life and have life more abundant. How many got joy tonight? Come on, church. How many got victory? says, the Bible says, glory to God. The Bible says this in Philippians 4, 4, rejoice in the Lord always and again. I say rejoice. I'm going to believe that God changes lives by the power of God. I'm going to believe that tonight. Come on church, I'm going to believe he's going to change lives. How many ever seen him change a life that you thought that that, that wouldn't happen? Come on, I got both feet and both hands up. Come on, church. People used to look at him and say, ain't nowhere in the world that he can be set free. He too far gone. He too far gone. How many know I was just right for God? All I had to do was just ask God, receive him, make him Lord of my life, and then start coming to Bible study, start filling my mind with the word of God. Every time that devil throw a bad spirit and say, listen to me. How many know I said, Jesus whooped you, came up out the grave, gave me the key. He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Now, devil, shut up. Come on, church. Come on, know he got to shut up in Jesus' name. Come on, church. Come on, know that's going to be your change. When you have the power of God in your life, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Amen? I love being in the presence of God. I love to delight myself in the things of God. I love doing God's will. Go into God. Go into God. The Bible teaches us in John 14, 23, the word of God said, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. Amen. True delight in the Lord will always express itself in obedience. Amen. In obedience. Amen. I mean, no obedience is better than sacrifice. Come on, church. I'm going to be obedient just better than sacrifice. And the Bible says, the Bible says this in Isaiah 59, 1. It said, Behold, the Lord's hand is not so short that it cannot save, neither is there heaven that it cannot hear. I got good news for you. Look what the word says in verse 5. It said, Commit thou way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he will bring it to pass. I got good news for you in verse 4. And it said, It shall he give thee the 
desires of their heart. How many want to see a move of God? Come on, church. How many want to see old fashioned, holy ghost, spirit filled revival? How many want to see rough for change by the power of God? How many want to see a move of God? Come on, church. How many want to see God change this world? How many want to see this nation get back to the things of God? If you believe that, give God some praise for you. saying, God, I want you to turn this situation around. There are probably some here tonight saying, God, I got a situation I want to be delivered from. God, there is nothing too hard for you tonight. God, the Word of God says that all things are possible to them that believe. And God will believe us here tonight. And God, perhaps there might be some here tonight, God saying, God, I want to rededicate my life to Christ. The probably some here have never made that commitment to serve you, to make you Lord of their lives. Right where you are sitting tonight, if you're here tonight, and you would say, Preacher, I need a change in my life. I want to make Jesus Lord of my life. I want to be saved. I want to know that I can go to heaven. If you're here tonight and you would say, Preacher, that's me. I want to make Jesus Lord of my life. If that's you tonight, just slip that hand up and say, Pray for me. Thank you. I see that hand. I see the other hand. If you're here tonight and you would say, Preacher, there's things in my life and I know I have not committed my ways to the Lord. And tonight I want to rededicate my life to Christ. I want to get back focused. I want to look to Jesus, the author, and the finisher of my faith. God, tonight, do it for your glory tonight. If you're here tonight and you would say, Preacher, that's me. I need to get back to the cross. I need to get back and start trusting God and trusting Jesus. If that's you tonight, right where you're sitting, slip that hand up and say, pray for me. Slip it up. Father, I thank you tonight. I give you praise. I give you glory. I give you honor tonight. In Jesus' name. While the heads are bowed tonight, those hands that went up, I want you to just look up at me. Those hands that went up, just look up at me. Everyone Jesus called, he called public. I want you to step out of this seat and walk down this aisle. Come. 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 Thank God for you tonight. Thank God for you tonight. Thank God for you tonight. Thank God for your sister. Thank God for you. Amen. Thank God for your sister. Amen. And tonight, just look at me for a minute. Look at me for a minute. God's going to give you your heart's desire. Sister, God's not through with you yet. God's not through with you. We've all made mistakes. God's not through with you yet. He still has a purpose and a plan for your life. He's moving by His Spirit. And I believe tonight as I preach that message that God's going to give you your heart's desire. Slip your hands up just like this. And pray this prayer with me at this altar tonight. Say, Father, Pray. Repeat after me. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I confess that I am a sinner. And I ask you, Jesus, to forgive me 
of all my sins. Jesus, come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. I thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you for setting me free this night in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, give God some praise in our life. come to the altar. Come. All over the building. Come. 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 All over the building if you can. Come. tonight we're in your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, God, that your word says in John 15, if I abide in you and your word abide in me, I could ask for the will that shall be given me. And Father, right now, we are your children tonight. And God, I pray tonight, many have hearts and desires tonight. And God, I pray tonight for an increase tonight. God, I pray tonight, God, for that son, that daughter that's away from God, that used to be on fire from God, that they taught him the things of God. I pray that you would bring him out of darkness and bring him into the marvelous light. Father, I pray tonight, God, for that wife that's been praying for her husband, God. I pray in Jesus' name you begin to deal with him, God. I pray, God, that you would send someone to be a witness, God, that would shine so bright that they would come out of that darkness and come into the marvelous light. Father, we believe you tonight. Father, I pray tonight for that man of God is praying for his wife, God. I pray in Jesus' name you would do the work, oh God. And God, I bind up every foul spirit tonight that's not of God in the homes, God. We bind up confusion tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, I speak peace tonight. I speak victory tonight in the name of Jesus, God. I pray tonight, God, you would raise them up to be mighty men and women of God. Father, I pray tonight, God, in Jesus' name. I pray, God, in each each one under the sound of my voice, God, would be a soul winner, God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, God, you would give us that better desire to see people delivered in 
been set free by the power of God. Father, I thank you tonight, God, in Ephesians 3, 20, down to him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all. We could ask and thank according to the power that worketh in us. And Father, I pray tonight, God, it might be some here tonight, God said, I want to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And Father, tonight, by the power of the Spirit of God, I pray tonight, God, you would feel tonight in the name of Jesus Christ, God. I pray for an increase by the power of God. And Father, I pray tonight in the name of Jesus for that one that need a healing, God. In the name of Jesus, God, heal tonight. High blood pressure be gone in Jesus' name. Diabetes be gone in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you tonight by the power and the Spirit of God tonight. We pour down every stronghold. And Father, tonight, I thank you for victory tonight in this house. And Father, I thank you for Pastor Jester. I thank you for the man of God and the woman of God. I thank you for these leaders, oh God. I thank you for each one that's in this house. And God, right now, by the power of God, I pray, God, you would bring your people from the north, the east, the west, and the south. And God, I pray tonight for an increase in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you tonight that we are victorious and our prayers have been heard and our prayers will be answered. We thank you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, give God some praise right now for the power of God. Come on, just give God some praise. It's done in Jesus' name. It's done. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. It's done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, I want you to do this. Look up to heaven and lift your hands up just like this. And say, Lord, tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you. Thank you. For, giving me for giving me my heart's desire. My heart's desire. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give him praise and give him glory. Come on, just give him praise and give him glory. He alone is worthy to be praised. Glory to God. Glory to God. This is what I want you to do. I want you to call people out. Let's invite people. Let's believe God to bring the lost in. We need to do our part. Amen? And I believe if each one of us bring ten people, we can fill these sections up. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, that preacher showing up as a whole lot. <laughs> God, give me my heart to say that. But let's invite people. Let's bring people to the house of God. I love this church. I love Pastor Jesse and his wife and this congregation. I love you all. You all are the best. Come on, church. Glory to God. You all are the best. Amen. 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 God's doing great things and born of his spirit. Great things are happening for the glory of God. We give God all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor tonight. Amen. Amen. So praise the Lord. Look at your neighbor one more time. Said neighbor, did, did, did you really know what that preacher said? God will give me the lot desires of my heart. It will happen. 